Hey guys, so here is a video to quickly explain how to upgrade the memory card on your 3DS. Uh, this will work for either the original 3DS, the XL, and probably the 2DS as well, since it's all the same crap, really. Um, I have here a brand new memory card, 32 gig. Um, my XL came with a 4 gig card, and my original 3DS that I use most of the time, uh, this thing is my spare, uh, came with uh, a 2 gig card, which is abysmal for anyone who likes to download anything. Um, I picked this thing up at Walmart because it was on sale. This thing cost me like 13 bucks, which is really freaking good for a class 10 32 gig card. So, in any case, um, what you will need to do this is a memory card reader or a computer that has a memory card reader built in. I have one like right on the side of my laptop here. But uh, what's even better is if you have a card reader and the computer with a card reader built in because then you can do this in one shot instead of doing back and forth and etc. etc. But in any case, um, Nintendo was kind of known for making it really difficult to copy and transfer things from one device to another, except when it comes to swapping memory cards. For some strange reason, this is ridiculously simple. I don't know why Nintendo didn't do anything kind of screwy for this uh, transfer process, but it is literally like uh, the fastest thing I have ever done. Uh, all you really have to do is take the SD card out of the 3DS, pop it in a computer, and then drag and drop everything that's on the card from one to another, pop the new card back in, and you're done. Like, literally, that's it. So I'm going to demonstrate this... Uh, just to give you guys a really quick overview, I don't have any fancy like video capture software or any of that uh, fun stuff. So I'm using my camera slash phone to record everything. So if it looks kind of screwy, I apologize, but that's life. <laughs> so step one, obviously, if you have your 3DS turned on, make sure it is turned off. Like not in sleep mode, turn it off completely. Like power light off, not blinking. Now, for the XL, the card slot is right here, so all you got to do is open it up, forgive me, but doing this one-handed is a little screwy. card is right in there, so you just got to pop it out. Where is it? There it is. Don't slide around. Okay. Here's the original card. 4 gig. New one, 32 gig. So, if you don't have a computer that has a card slot built in and you have to use one of these things um, all you basically have to do is pop the memory card into the reader clicky clicky and then pop it into a USB port now oh, you can see here the uh, computer has detected the card and it wants to do this autoplay business shut that off but you can see right here once I focus, yeah, that looks kind of screwy, but it is in the computer. It's got like, uh, there isn't much on there, but it's there. So what you want to do, well, what I'm going to do is just pop my new card into my computer's built-in slot. And there it goes. It's just detected that, so I'll turn that off. Now, I've got two card slots available. One has my data, the other is empty. So all I'm going to do, go into the card that was in the 3DS, do a right click, copy, then go to the other card, which is empty, and do a paste. Here you can see it's copying everything. Like I said, there's not much on this card because this is my spare 3DS. But once it's done, which will be any second, five, four-ish. Okay, so the countdown doesn't like to work. Yay, Windows! <laughs> but in any case, just about done. Poof. So now... There's 32 gig card. All we do, pop it back in. Let's 
sorry. Again, one-handed, this is kind of hard. <laughs> clicky, clicky, shut the door. Open the 3DS and turn it back on. Now, once it boots up, there you go. Everything still seems to be here. One thing that you can really use to test is if you have games on here that were saved to the memory card. I have the uh, demo version of Tomodachi Life right there. Now, if this hadn't worked, this would be here and it wouldn't be running. So, there you go. Fastest way to transfer stuff from one memory card to another. I just did it. Boom. Done. So, there you go. If you have a small memory card and you want to put a bigger memory card, that's it. I apologize for the length of this video. It really doesn't need to take this length of time to get this to work, but showing the process without like fancy software and yeah. You get the idea, but this will especially come in handy if you have a tendency to download a lot of stuff because the original memory cards will fill up incredibly fast. So I highly recommend getting a hold of a 32 gig card. I haven't tried anything bigger. I'm not sure if that works, but it may, may not. I don't know. But 32 gig is the biggest that I uh, have tested and I know works. Otherwise, this game wouldn't be running. But uh, yeah, there you go. So thanks for watching. See you later.